All right, guys, we're going to look at Flipboard.com. You've heard me talk about Flipboard before. It's where I get a lot of my information from, a lot of my resources. A little bit about Flipboard. Basically, it creates magazines for you. So you'll find different articles, posts, websites, and you're enabled to create magazines that you can refer back to at any time in order to see where your information is collected. So think of it, again, as a folder. And you're able to put information in the folder and go back to it whenever you need to. So when it comes to Flipboard, I, I use it a lot on my phone. But it, even if you're on a laptop, you can use it as we are here. So let's take a look. Go to Flipboard.com. I always sign in through my Facebook account. That's what I like about Flipboard. They've, they've made it very easy for you to create an account. You can either use your Twitter account, Facebook account, Google. When you when you create a, a new account, you just do it using an email. So if you need to create an account, that's up here. Let's say we already have an account created, though. Like I said, I always log in using Facebook. So when I click on Facebook, it has it has my username stored in there, along with my my password information. Flipboard has a very basic screen. And when I say basic, there, there's not much to it. I always tell people, when you log in, you always come to your cover stories. And so if you would scroll down, my cover stories are going to come up because I already have an account created. But I'm going to show you how to get cover stories like this to come up in your account as well. So let's go back to the top here. I always tell people to start with what's your passion. So when you type in what's your passion, you can see some things I've typed in here before. Um, let's say we're going to go up here and type in education technology. All right. So I would select it. What it's going to do is create a an area up here like a headline for me to go to each time I come in if I just want to go straight to educational technology and really it pulls articles that match up different types of words uh, that may be relating to educational technology so as we scroll down here here's an interesting one so somebody posted under educational technology about teacher podcast for your summer playlist so I may do something like this, click on it, read it, and then share it with my staff. So now I'm at the article, I'm going to scroll down. I would skim through here. So it's obviously there's a bunch of links in there that this person typed up a blog post and they share different podcasts that teachers may want to listen to during the summer. It's like a pretty good article, pretty good post. All right, so let's say I would find some use for that for my staff. It's different ways you can go about this. What I like about Flipboard is that it opens up another window. So here's where we were. Here's the article that it opens up. When you hover over the image in Flipboard, it gives you three options right here. You can flip it. So when you click on that, Let's say, oh, I want to save this for later. I'm going to create a magazine and share with other people. So it makes you put in a magazine title. I'm going to call this one Educational Technology. Again, this is kind of like Pinterest. You can let everybody see this, or you can just make it private for you. Either one. So let's say I create this magazine or folder. Okay. Since it's checked, it's gonna it's gonna take this 15 teacher podcast for your summer playlist, and it's gonna add it in there. Okay. So now if we went back to flip, you would see educational technology, and then that article is in there. So let's say we go down and we click on this one. It looks like an interesting, interesting post. 
from EducatorsTechnology.com, again, a site that we referred to throughout the year. Looks like it has a type of video that it plays with it. Something that could help parents about an educational app store. Okay. So we'll close these two articles out, go back here. I think that's something I'm also going to share in my educator. Or maybe I'm going to make a new one up. I'm going to call it Create a Magazine and call this Parent Information. Okay, so I create parent information. I'm going to add this in there. Okay, so now I have a couple magazines I've made and I put a couple posts in there. Let's say we find something. Still looking at the articles here about teaching education. As we scroll down, so let's say I go look at this article. Education technology is a new norm. Say I start reading it, and I'm and I, I'm like I like that article. There's also other ways you can share things using Flipboard. So again, we come here. You can like things. So if you like it, create you know just kind of like anything else in Facebook or Twitter, favorite it, or you can share it. So I like sharing. When you click on that. You can either drop it to Twitter under your Twitter account. Okay. So if I did that, it would tweet that out can send it to Facebook or you can email it to people. So let's say I type in my own email, okay? When I share it, it emailed it to my account so the article show up. So sometimes what I do is I take articles like that and I share them with my staff to our email listserv. If it's something I think can help the whole staff. So that way, boom, I've sent it to them. Like, you don't get to put a note in there, really, but you can, you send it to them, and they'll know that, that you shared a resource with them. So I think that's that's also a good, too, good way to use Flipboard. Other than that, it's very pretty simple. You can come in here and search and type in, um, again, something similar to what's your passion. This shows you notifications. The bell does. This is where you can click on the pencil you can write a comment or add a website to one of your magazines that you choose so you can add things outside of your magazine and then here's basically just your your information so you click on your face and you can set up your settings put a picture in what your public profile looks like so I, I tell you I, I use Flipboard a lot on my phone but I, you can use it on a laptop so these are some tips you can use down the road to get familiar with Flipboard and really gain gain some more resources for you to, in your leadership role. But it, it's also just as easy and looks very similar on, on your phone if you want to use it there too.